one last question. What vascular conditions can cause leg ulcers? So the number one cause of leg ulcers in the United States are vein problems, but there are many, many things that can mimic ulcers. So for example, you can get an ulcer from uh, problems with the arteries, but they're usually in different locations than, than the venous system. There are some things like rheumatologic disorders, like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, that can cause it. There are some infectious causes, like believe it or not, tuberculosis, uh, which is still common in the United States, can cause a venous ulcer. But they all have very particular appearances to them. So you can, for the most part, uh, determine what the cause is in the ulcer. But again, going back to the good history, I want to know if somebody's got lupus or some rheumatologic disorder or a collagen vascular disorder. We routinely check uh, patients' pulses to make sure there's no arterial insufficiency. And then if the history and the physical and the ultrasound all go together, most of the time it's venous in origin and we can offer some therapies to have, help the ulcer heal. Of note, there, were, uh, there was a recent multi-center randomized clinical trial called the EVER trial that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine that showed that patients who have active venous ulcers who had interventions heal their ulcers faster and had a long, a prolonged period of time in between uh, recurrent ulcers than people who just had standard compression therapy alone. How common is a venous ulcer? It's very common. It's if you go to most wound care centers, 90% of the wounds that they see in a wound care center are venous in origin. It's been estimated that in patients who are 65 years or older, our Medicaid population, it's up to 6% of Medicaid patients have venous ulcers. Less than 65, it's about 1% to 2% in the country. So depending upon your age group, it's very, very prevalent. And if somebody has a skin breakdown in the leg, how important is it or how urgent is it for them to seek medical care? So if you ignore it and don't do the proper compression and bandaging and don't identify the underlying cause behind it, the ulcers tend to get bigger. They can become infected. They become very painful. I mean, in worst case scenarios where you have the, what the, we call these giant ulcers, which are like two thirds of the, of the lower calf, then you're talking about potential limb threatening situations. But most of the time, it's a quality of life issues. It's the number one, it's one of the number one causes of people missing work is having to deal with a chronic wound that can last for months and months and months. Uh, it's also a, an inordinate for the healthcare industry uh, for these local wound care. So, so wounds are, are a big problem in the United States. It's a multi-billion dollar industry and 90% of these wounds are venous in origin. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Pappas. We know you have a busy day. Thank you for taking the time for this. Oh, my pleasure, anytime. Thank you, sir.